Obviously, there is not just one type of woman that is right for every guy. There are thousands of fish in the sea, and you will never find two that are exactly alike. However, there are certain types of women that you should be very, very cautious about. You might be wondering if you could be one of these women whom a guy should avoid. Or, are you a guy who's seeing somebody now? Well, either way, this video is for you. Love knows no reason. No boundaries, no distance, no race, no age, and gender, it doesn't matter in 2021. It has a sole intention of bringing people together. Philippines is truly a beautiful tropical country with the most friendly and hospital people. If you are dating with a Filipina, Chances are you'll clash with their beliefs, rules, and even traditions. But they are the sweetest, caring ladies you could ever hope. The biggest asset in the Philippines for bachelors is definitely the variety of pretty petite ladies all over the country. As a whole, Filipino women are beautifully exotic, loving, sweet, family-oriented. You must earn their trust before asking her anything intimate. However, in reality, you must use extreme caution when dating a Filipina online. Keep in mind, that there are many scammers in the Philippines and they could take advantage of you. Yes, not all Filipina are conservative. Some are liberal. Though, this is not always the truth. You can find Filipina girls that are sincere and honest in their look for the love of their lives. Filipino women have a lot of like bad motives. But you can still find others who deserves your trust. The task is to look for them. Filipina ladies are adorable, impressive, but don't forget to remember so they are not perfect, that they are not goddesses, and are just plain women. So for today's video, let's start knowing the type of girls that you should not date or you should avoid. Number one, a married Filipina. The older the woman is, the more you should be suspicious. Often money is the name of the game. If a man finds out his woman is dating with a rich foreigner, he loves it. It's an opportunity to get paid. For this reason, a married Filipina will try to hide her marriage from you. Of all the women to be avoided, a married Filipina should be avoided at all costs. If you get caught in bed with a married Filipina, you will go to jail. Keep in mind that in the Philippines, it is against the law and there is no divorce. To try to get a divorce in the Philippines or annulment is nearly impossible and very very expensive if you find that she is married move on there's so many beautiful women to me number two a bar girl this is a warning for soft-hearted men although this advice is not specific to the philippines you can apply the same advice anywhere in the world but because filipino bar girl seems so different than the common western stereotype of prostitutes they seem so much more 
innocent, friendly, understanding, just like the normal girl here. Filipino bar girls can make you feel like it's their first month of working and you are one of their first customers. Just keep in mind always that the main reason behind this is a child from a Filipino guy who ran away or a family in the poor province who needs support. Sure, they can fall in love with you. But another thing to keep in mind here is that, especially the more experienced Filipino bar girls may be less loyal to you. In case you struggle financially as they know from experience that they can find another boyfriend in no time. Again, just apply common sense. Use caution because this type of women will try to conceal her true employment. There is some ways to possibly tell she was a bar girl. If she has lots of tattoos, uses foul language, if she smokes, and seems to have loose morals. Number 3. Party type of Filipina. This type of Filipina is likely to meet a large number of people socially. Which leads to the fact that if your relationship is starts to slowing down, you will have a small window of time before you are quickly replaced. A party Filipina is someone that wants to go out with her friends instead of being home with her family. This is one type of Filipina that is not taking life serious and is wasting money on alcohol and cigarettes. This is the type of woman that you should avoid. Partying is not immoral. Maybe unattractive for some or could be sexy for some guys. But you should do it responsibly or safely without spoiling your fun. But like I said, always keep in mind to apply common sense. And if you find that one type of Filipina, she should be someone that knows her limitations and don't forget her responsibility as a mother, a girlfriend, a daughter, a student, or employee. Number 4. The secretive type of Filipina. It may be a good idea to be a little mysterious in the beginning, but a lot of Filipino women can certainly become mysterious. This is the type of woman that doesn't reveal much about her life because she is emotionally unavailable or doesn't have interest in you. She can only talk at certain times of the day and avoid deep conversation. Hmm, what is she trying to hide? What is she trying to avoid you from seeing? If she is secretive, then she could be married, have a Filipino boyfriend, or some more other secrets that she is keeping from you. Number 5. Overly Religious Filipina This is the type of Filipina that wants to go to the church three times a week, and her whole life evolves around the church and not to you. And if she is extremely so, she may try to convert you. She may ask you to go to the church with her, which could be a challenge if you are opposed to the idea. Because if you are not that religious kind of man, and if she is vocal about her religions and belief in life, you may argue a lot more frequently than other couples. When it comes to religion and romance, what appears to be more important is that both have the same level of religiosity. Because when religious marry religious, or when irreligious marry irreligious, they tend to do better in terms of happiness and harmonious relationship. In general, huge differences in value system and belief system creates stress and difficulty in understanding. Number 6. 
a gold digger type of Filipina. This is the type of Filipina where they don't have an honest emotional or physical attraction to their partner. Rather, their goal is to enter into a relationship to have access to the target's wealth. While anyone can be a gold digger and age dynamic can vary, the stereotype of gold digger woman in the Philippines is someone that appreciates expensive gifts. While your thoughtful idea of a gift is a bouquet of flower and a chocolate, these things have no value to a gold digger. They seem to be happy with gifts that have significant monetary value. Anyway guys, sometimes a woman's loyalty is tested when a man has nothing. And a man's loyalty is tested when he has everything thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video will help you again thank you for the incredible 1000 people who subscribes my channel i hope that you will continue supporting my little channel in the future as well have a wonderful day ahead more night and see you on my next video bye